I just wanted to take a chance to introduce the More Beer Professional Still. This is the largest of the distillation systems we've made so far. Um, we're going to walk through a prototype and we'll go through the features. Uh, this is our 1200 liter uh, wash pot here. We have a, a s automatic stirring in here to keep your wash pot mixed during distillation. There's a very large dump valves to make it easy to clean out the wash pot. Large flange steam ports. Nice big window. Obviously it seals really well. Um, there's pressure relief. We have a copper onion um, with a window so you can kind of see what's going on in, inside the onion. This is a CIP pump and CIP manifold. It allows you to use the wash pot uh, to store your chemical and run it through the whole system. It all run, returns back through here, back to the wash pot. Two CIP balls that go through and clean the onion. You can run straight out of this all the way to the end of the condenser if you want to run something uh, with lots of cojourners. Um, optionally, you can transfer through this gin basket. Gin basket uh, uh, holds about 15 pounds of, uh, of whatever kind of botanicals you'd like to put in. This is the whiskey column. The whiskey column's got four plates um, with bubbling caps. Each plate has a CIP arm uh, in it, and each plate has a bypass in it. Um, so if you only wanted to run one or two plates, or if you have a plate that's not performing correctly, you can take it out of the system. Um, everything drains back down to the bottom uh, that won't distill and goes back to return to the kettle. On the top of the whiskey column, we have a temperature probe that gives us a temperature on top of the column before the reflux condenser, and then another temperature probe on top of the reflux condenser allows us to measure the efficiency of the reflux. And it's copper all the way through so that uh, you can pull some sulfur out of the product. This is the same as the whiskey column, except instead of being four plates, this is 16 plates. We use it for vodka. We normally would run through both uh, running vodka. This is a CIP manifold. It has a spray ball uh, behind every plate and one all the way at the top so that you can rinse all the way down. Each one can be turned on and off. Then everything comes to the condenser. All of the water hookups are tri-clover fittings on this system. And this has a large jacket that takes cooling water. Inside the jacket, there are lots of small tubes that carry the product to allow efficient thermal exchange. When the product is sufficiently cooled that it condenses from a, a vapor to a liquid, it goes through to the Parrot. The Parrot has a large surge breaker. This makes sure that the still can never create a vacuum. It comes down through here where we can put our hydrometer, allows us to get real-time measurements of our proof. Um, if we need to purge it, we can always open the valve and purge it, let it collect again to make sure we're getting a representative sample. The product outlet is here and we collect it normally into kegs or barrels from this point. For more information, please go to morebeerpro.com and you can get the full pricing, feature set, uh, and uh, weights and dimensions. Thank you.